Alright, we're back underneath the car after sliding the axle shafts in. Now it's going to be the moment of truth to see if we got enough room to get the C-clips in still. So, let me get this all uncovered. Jeez. Oh, crap, my spider gear fell out. Alright. Or side gear, spider gear, I don't know what's what anymore. Well, gives me a chance to clean it now. <laughs> Alright. Pull this nasty stuff out. Which. Toss it in the dirt over here. You. Alright, I put the car in neutral, so. Hopefully I can spin things around here. Oh, where are you at? There you are. Actually, that's what I need to do to get that gear back in. Oh well. And... Looks like I got enough room to get those C-clips back in. Cool. Now I just gotta get it all back together. I didn't bring any kind of a tripod with me under here. I think I can set my hat up. Let's see. See if I can get you up view. Good enough, huh? My gears back in. Yay. I brought my parts with me. First piece, the center pin. Don't get dirt all over it. I'm gonna try and clean this diff out a little bit once I get her all back together, so don't worry about the dirt. Now I gotta find the hole. There you are. Oh yeah, I gotta put the uh, sequence back in first. Do it. Feel my way through this box. Here's a sequence. Slide her in. Push the axle shaft back up. Whoops. Slide that one in. Axle shaft out. Pin to go in. Yeah. Stupid pin to go in. Come on. It's close. Jeez. Come on. Why aren't you going in? Which way? Oh, you want to go that way. Okay. Alright, I think I got that side gear in just a tooth off still. Which means uh, I gotta pull it all back. Or no, I can just do this. So which way does it need to go? You're sitting there, you're too far over. So, pull you out, give you another tooth. 
back in. That looks better. Oops, sorry guys. <sighs> I can barely move under here unless I see the camera. There we go. Alright. Now I can swing it all back down. Get her all locked back in. You can do that. Holy cow. If there wasn't five feet of trunk over the back of this thing with a gas tank underneath it, it wouldn't be so bad. Alright. More straight RTV on this install. That was just as painful. Well, I was able to find out what gears this thing has before I put it back up. Got a 41 on the pinion and a 141 on the ring gear. I do the math, it comes out to 343 gears. It's pretty good, actually. I thought these things had two something gears in them. That's that's pretty good. Not good for fuel economy, not good for freeways, but since we've got no overdrive, but get around town. We're at the drag strip when I'm pulling them 12 second quarter miles. Yeah. So I did a lot of research on this axle too. It's hard to find anything online for it for one. Information, but supposedly it's a 12 bolt rear end but it has a 10 bolt housing and or cover one of the other something like that but it's got 12 bolt innards in it so it's supposed to be pretty tough for in I don't know I only used it in 1977 to 81 which is why you can't really find anything about it because nobody cares about it it's supposed to be pretty beefy though I don't know. Still couldn't find a good, solid answer on what it is. All right. She's back together. I'll fill her up with oil tomorrow. Let all this RTV set up. And going on day four, five, ten. I don't know what the heck I'm at it. Huh? Um. Yeah. There's the uh, oil. Just got to put some oil in her. Let's see, she's all back together. Just got to fill her up. Throw the wheels on and. Uh, Hopefully be good. Those are the seals that I didn't need. Since those new bearings came with seals already attached. RTV, which I didn't really need. So, alright. Let's put it back together. Fill her up. And I get to use one of these. God, I hate using these. They take forever. But there's no room in there to get it in any other way, so... And there's my fill plug on the passenger side of the axle there. See, I got exhaust and control arms and everything in the way, so this ought to be fun. And there it is, all back together. See how long it goes before something else breaks. I also uh, tightened down the valve cover gaskets, they were real loose. Got new gaskets for it, but uh, I'm gonna worry about replacing those a little later. It's because I want to drive the stupid thing, so. So, fire up and let it burn the oil out of it. 